Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time made it through the Forbidden, no, Forsaken, oops, Fortress. Killed that big old Helmarok bird brain. Got a skull hammer. Then we hung out with these beautiful ladies. And our reward for doing so was 99 red blue er, arrows. So if you like being able to max out our equipment, if you could like this video, comment, and subscribe. So we got some interesting things to do today. I don't want to necessarily go so far as to say they're super plot heavy, but they are plot adjacent, so hopefully you're okay with that. Let's go ahead and take a peek at them. Okay. So we're about to do something that I tried to do earlier. I don't actually remember if this made it into a recording or if it made it into a failed recording. But... This is some place I tried to go before, and I learned very quickly that you cannot until you do the Forsaken Fortress. So, this little hidden doodly do, this unspecified warping location, is something that you can only do successfully upon getting the Skull Hammer and, and winning that part of the plot. So, this is a special area. It's very important to come to. I'm gonna get something pretty nifty right now. Oh. Link's like, don't you do it. Get out of here, Pop Rocks. Yeah, this is not the cutscene that will play the first time you do this. Oh, not terrifying. The ghost of Fee from Skyward Sword. Can you control the wind? Well, I mean, I can break it. This is kind of like a weird little whimsical fairy fountain take. Like, kind of like a circus theme almost sounds. So this is actually the Queen of Queens. Also, her hand is twitching. She would not make a very good welder. Her having the little fairy doll is very creepy. So anyway, she's going to upgrade our bow. This is the second to last upgrade that we can get for the bow. It's a different kind. This is not an expansion of size. It's not the size that matters anyway. It's what you do with it. And as you can see, things are about to get a little chilly and spicy all at the same time. A little icy hot. Oh! This is pretty heckin' cool. Yes. These are the fire and ice arrows. You will need these to beat the game, so. Consider it. Man, this really weirds me out. It's like the, the empty eye sockets, I think. So, you can collect a few more different things if you need them to. When I say different things, I meant to say fairies. I wasn't looking when I said that. You're just, ooh. The boat's like, don't. Straight to jail. Yeah, I don't know how that would feel to be told by a mythical be being that you're their type. What does that mean? That's also a child. I mean, Link is a child too. Okay, I'm thinking way too much about this. Let's get out of here. Nope. Wow. Try to do it without my homework. Nope. <laughs> right, come on. I got somewhere to be. Literally. All right. So we're going to take a quick trip back to Windfall. We did hear a little bit about this when we were talking to one of them fish. This is going to be pretty useful. We're actually going to do quite a bit of collecting some good things in a very short period of time. Trying not to turn this episode entirely into side quests, but they are, there are things that we do need to do that 
will only happen here at this time. So we'll come back. Get out of my way. We will come back another time to do more of this. There's just so many side quests in this game. I don't I don't want to overload and do them all at once because it gets kind of boring, but um, we got to honor that fish's request. It is highly evolved enough to speak to us, therefore, we must listen. Oh, come on. Today is not my best day at running away from things. Very good at running into things. On DraftKings, go ahead and take the parlay for how many times D Mike is going to run into stuff. All right. So, this guy, he needs some help. So, he really likes a, a nice big shaft, a bright shaft of light. But unfortunately, the lighthouse here has been extinguished. If only but somebody could spark it up with some fire. I don't know. Maybe we could do that. Go and get your bow out. I don't know how you select. That's how you... Okay. Well, we just wasted one. Um, so the goal is to ride this kadoo all the way to the tippy top. And... Uh, whoop. There we go. Definitely helps if you don't miss, because then you will have to go all the way back up and around. We don't have time to bring it around town today. We have many things to accomplish now that we have access to these fire and ice arrows. And when I say many things, I mean probably like two. So, you know, that's good enough. Get your... Oop. Oop. That's not it. Okay. I think I can just... Uh, oh. Okay. Ooh. Let's go ahead and tiptoe around here. Just a little, just a little bit. Just a little, little walkie walkie. Okay, I was, I just wasn't convinced that I was gonna make it, and I didn't think that it would save the fact that I had the fire arrow out. Arrow out. That was very confusing. Whoa. Okay, did that not work? Uh. Okay. What if I just. Am I not tall enough for this because of the way that it's set up? This might be dumb. I'm okay. Well, you know what? I hate everything about that. Let's see. Can I get into the bucket from here? And a whoop. okay. And come back, Wayne. Okay. Well, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna have a good time here, viewers, and uh, we'll just ride it around because I'm dumb. Also. If you weren't noticing, the fire and ice arrows obviously will deplete your magic. So keep that in mind. You've got the double magic at this point, so you should be fine. But it's just something to keep in mind while you're doing this. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and prep the arrow. We're just going to go ahead and prep the meat. And, um... Okay. Get another one. Okay, another one. Okay. <laughs> All right, game. I didn't want to finish this sometime today. Is this? Is there, are you really only capable of doing it from inside the thing? You might be, which I don't quite understand. I mean, it would make sense if. Hold on. I bet if I jump in it, I just have to make sure I don't fail. Yeah, fall. This is gonna be really tricky to do because I can't see. And uh, okay, no, <laughs> no. All right, I'll see you back in a second. Okay, viewers, we're ready. Let's get back into the game. I was going to say something way more better than that, but my brain kind of shut off for a second. Just so nervous. Trying to do this with a pro controller is a little tricky. So we have to shoot it into the doodly-doo. I'm just going to wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. 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 That didn't... What? How did that not count? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Huh. And it is starting to become daytime, so... I will hopefully... Make this happen. If I don't do it on this try, you're just gonna see it when it happens, because... We're already ten minutes in, and I don't want to waste any more precious time... Trying to do this stupid quest. I thought I did it right. I don't... 
Reset and boop. No. No. Oh, that worked. Why did that work? <laughs> that was the one time I wasn't aiming. All right, well, apparently that did the trick. So we tried to get this chest, I think, hopefully in one recording. That is the reason why you can't get it. Literally just that. It opens up that chest whence, whence, from whence you came. No, it unlocks that chest as part of this lighthouse quest. I almost forgot what a lighthouse was called as part of that big thing with the stuff. All right. So we are going to hop back out now that we've made it. Oop, okay, and we can talk to this dude here. What's up, homie? Oh, yeah. I wonder how that happened. Very good. So he's gonna give us a present. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a little chaos. Okay, great. So our reward is another heart container. So that's very cool. We love that for us. And we can grab, once we get a chance to, we can grab the little island chest that popped up. And that's the last thing we're going to do here on Windfall for now. And we have to figure out what direction this is going to be because I don't know. All right. I didn't even check the compass. What could possibly go wrong, viewers? Oh, boy. Uh, I don't know this, maybe? I mean, it's close. That should probably be enough to get us there. I have to make sure I, I stick the landing. Coming hot, coming hot. No. Oh yeah, first try. What's our prize? What's our prize, what's our prize, what's our prize? Another piece of heart. So, it's obviously the start of another heart container, which is very nice. So, you know, we'll take it. Let's go ahead and find the boat. Oh, he's... He's already moved himself. I did not tell you to do that. And there's Beetle if you need more Oi! pears and bait. But we have plenty of both. So, no gracias. Instead, we will... Oh, boy. Viewers, I've done it. We're going to warp over to Dragon Roost Island. It's still weird that this isn't marked, but that's Mother and Child Island, I believe. So we're going over to Dragon Roost. This is two little sort of side quests that you have to do to progress the game. So we need to do this. It's not so bad, actually. I think it's actually pretty neat. We've sailed past. I almost said driven. We've sailed past this before so that's cool we need to be going let's look at our map all right we're going the right direction so we actually already have this map mapped out right here so we're going to fire mountain we're going to fire mountain everybody let's go clap clap come on something something you know that you yeah. all right so obviously fire mountain a little spicy past couple episodes have been pretty hot so maybe we could cool things down a little bit. Viewers, what do you think? All right. So we're getting real close. Let's go ahead and maybe shoot a little chilly willy into the mountain. Oh. No, what have you done? Okay. So probably should have gone a little closer. Um, you have five minutes to do this little side quest, so let's get to it. I know that we can do it. I wasn't 100% sure that this was going to be timed, and so I kind of goofed on this. Stop it. Get away from me. Quit. I don't have time for you. I've already fought too many... I've already fought the government too many times in recent history. All right, let's go ahead and climb this windy mountain here. Windy, windy mountain. Okay, um, are we supposed to be doing this from this side? Ooh. Oh, maybe not. How do I get up there now? Okay, we're doing great. Let's try that again. That might have been a Deku Leaf thing. Or, 
I could have gone the other way. So let's see what is the proper protocols here, because I do not know. This looks more correct, more better. I don't love this, though. We're going to have to really get it going here. Oh, come on, don't you do this. Really? The one time when the game's like, you will sidle, or else. Okay. I don't know how generous five minutes is. But I do know that here in the bah is very annoying. And I hate everything about it. Could I do something about it? Yes. Or I could complain, and that's the route I'm choosing. Alright, so we gotta hopefully do this quickly. I don't know if that bird's gonna interfere, but if it does, I'm gonna be very angry. Don't do it. Do not stop. Do not comma stop. I did want it to stop. Okay. Alright, we made it. We have three minutes left. Let's dip on in and see what we can do. Alright, so we got some fire keys. That sounds like maybe a boomerang would sort it out. Oh, that's the one. That's cool. Whoa. I have no... There we go. Alright, so we have these floating platforms here. Everything is kind of reminiscent of Dragon Roost. So just make sure that you don't fall into... Whoa, okay, you don't have a ton of time on these. It's not... It's not permanent. Okay, so we have to kill these boys. Can we just throw them in the lava and they die? That'd be cool. Okay, so no. You can... Slash him, though. Hack it slash. Alright, so those boys are done. And that's all you gotta do. I don't know if that stops the timer, but... I guess you could dilly-dally for... Two more minutes? Yeah, that's very generous. Probably for kids these days. But this is something interesting. Then we have the power bracelets. The one ring... Two rings to rule them all. So there you go. Pretty neat. And uh, we are going to be doing a similar activity here in a moment. Now that we can be a strong boy, you can make yourself a little shortcut to the exit. Very cool. All right. So now that we're here, I've already dealt enough with this boy can you come here like if you're gonna if you're gonna are you dropping bombs on me save the bombs for your mops oh no it's that it's that boat I'm gonna grab the gold feather and see you boy I don't know where the boat is storm alive oh no we are dangerously low on magic aka none if I was really concerned about it, I could hork down my blue potion, but I won't. Alright, let's get the heck out of here a little bit, just because I'm annoyed. Okay. Got a little bit of distance here. I do love the Battle of the Gales. Alright, so we're going to the Forest Haven, which is... Um, I don't remember... Um, it was, uh, let's start with the Tower of the Gods. Let's, let's go Tower of the Gods and see where that goes. This should hopefully help us find it. Because I don't know where it is. I'm not sure where it is. I didn't do the thing where you do the stuff and find it. Um, I feel like we're probably relatively close to it. Alright, so... Oh, I have it on... This is why you write notes, people, because I, I didn't check it. Alright, my notes say F6. One, two, three, error. Is this A, B? It's all the way down from Fire Mountain. Two, three, here-ish? 
So, southwest. Okay. We're gonna go southwest for a while. I think. Hopefully... Not super southwest, because... That's an airline, but... We're headed there. We're making it. No more monies if you need it. Also, just broke my promise of saying I would get every single one of those that I saw. Probably gonna regret that. I'm gonna be 50 rupees short. And be cursing myself. Alright. Oh, I wanted to go southeast, not south. Oh my gosh. Viewers. Thank goodness for swift sail. Holy smokes, I'm a bingus. Wow. Anyway, we're looking for an area that is relatively oppositional to the Fire Mountain. That's what we're looking for. So if you can imagine that with your beautiful brains, what that would look like. We're gonna sail past the private oasis. And what is this? Oh, the Tower of the Gods is like that. I was like, what the heck is going on? All right, so we want to go to this, I think, maybe. We're kind of doing this with, you know, to the seat of our pants. We're going to Ice Ring Island. That is our, our spot. So it's two below the Tower of the Gods, it looks like on my thing. So that would be where I'm going right now. That looks pretty icy over there. Maybe, hold on. We will find out here in just a momento. Oh, that's not it. Is that the ghost ship? I feel like I'm gonna keep bumping into this until the game forces me to. Or is this is this it? That looks kind of icy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So now, go ahead and drop and swap your arrows once again. So we can't really get too close. So how about we fix that and make things a little spicy? If my game would let me do it. No. I wanted to switch the arrows, please. Why can't I not do this? Uh, okay. This is another one of those fun glitches where the game is letting me do what I need to do? Or maybe I was supposed to. Hold on. How close can I get to this? Oh, I'm out of magic. Duh. That's why I can't do it. I'm a gosh dang goof. I guess I will have to burn my blue potion. That's unfortunate. Unless... Okay, you instantly... <laughs> so you can't touch that. Alright. I mean, it's fine. Who needs a blue potion anyway? Yes. Let's waste it, baby. Yeah, I don't really care that much. Some Mountain Dew. He's like, Ooh. yay. All right. So, lesson learned. Just cruising. Just We're just cruising. Cruising around. You do have to do this, though. This is important. Get that fire going. And boop. similar rules apply, of course. This is just the icy version of the arrow duology. Ice physics, of course. You love that. I don't. All right. So let's get a moving. Let's. Let's make that blue potion worth it. I love how I said that it wasn't going to come back to affect me, and then it immediately did. So, what else is new here at D-Mike Place? We pride ourselves in immediately having karma bite us in the buns. All right, so we need to get inside. And you're going to want to be very, very careful right here because that's a chest, so I'm going to go ahead and... Fire this up real quick, and boop. I don't know what's in that. I will investigate in a few moments, but first, ice physics and platforming. Viewers, do you love that? Ice physics, platforming, and moving platforms with ice physics. 
Heck yeah. That's amazing. That's not going to cause any problems for anybody. Alright, so we made it. A little bit quicker now that we've gotten our mojo back. Let's go ahead and dip inside and see what awaits. I wonder, wonder, wonder what's inside. Ice Ring Island. Okay, so this is another required item. It's kind of strange that this is how they make this happen. They don't really tell you about this so much. It's not super clear, but there are keys in here. Give me a big old key. Yes. All right, so get the booge meringue out. These guys are just there to, of course, wreak havoc on you. Very annoying. Nope. I like how the music is not 100% sure when it should start queuing. It's like, um, are they close enough yet? There we go. Okay, I'm very nervous about this. This looks like the... No, no, no. Oh, game. Oh, it doesn't freeze me and make me... Ugh. Actually, I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to be able to finish this. Hold on. We will need this. Just to get back up. No, stop it. No. Oh boy, viewers, we were hitting all the wrong buttons. What is this going to have me swing? What am I swinging to? Is there any platform to swing to? Can I climb? Can I... Can you stop so I can climb? Okay, we are wasting time. Um... How do I reset? I don't know where else you can go. Um, yeah, I guess if you if you goof, you're just kind of screwed here. Where? Uh, well, this is embarrassing. Um, can I just drown and then it reset me? Not on that island. Sorry, Link. I don't think I've ever actually had Link drown before. Until now. All right, is this the beginning platform? Okay, good. Woo! All right. We got a minute and 40 to... Oh, yeah, I guess you could you can climb back up there, but that's really... cumbersome. I don't want to do that. Get away from me. You too? Bono would be proud. Okay. So, we got to hurry. I did more... More better on the inside. Okay. No, 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 no. Ooh. No! Come on! Why is that so tricky? How do I drown faster? How do I watery unalive? I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Alright. Hopefully we can quickly submerge. And still have time to do this. Otherwise, I think it's going to boot me out. Oh, this was going so well until it wasn't. I mean, it really wasn't, but, you know, a man can dream, I suppose. Yeah, so they just want you to use your hook or your grappling hook and then just climb up to another one. I don't know. This is honestly easier. Uh, all right, this is dumb. We will hurry. Trying to roll on ice physics. Of course, a great decision. I think there's more magic in these pots there if you need it. I don't foresee myself being able to do this, but you never know. Come on, get there. Hurry. Come on. Oh, yes. Does that count? <laughs> That's amazing. Here's I'm amazing. Yeah, boy, the iron boots. Very heckin' cool. Oh, that was so clutch. Wow, okay. So, I don't think this is the last thing to do here. There is some freezy freezes in here. My notes say don't leave yet, so... I like how I just leave myself little clues. I don't just tell myself what I'm doing. So that's, um... That's nice. Why not just give myself, like, the full answers? So now that we have the Iron Boots, which are... Which? They are an equipable item. 
they will prevent you from getting blown, which is nice because we prioritize consent. So we can bling bling blong our way over here. So this is a little hidden cavern. Whee! And this is nice. This is a little goodie that maybe you don't always think about. So we've got some frozen baddies, which we can unfreeze, which is actually good because in the future we will be in need of more skull necklaces. You're going to want to get at least 20, I think, or like maybe 21, somewhere in the ballpark of plus 20. So do that. Well, that's a dark nut. That doesn't help us. What is this? Oh, these are just some Boca Blends. These just give you, give you the joy pendants if we remember. But if we kill everybody here in this room, our reward will be definitely worth it. I highly recommend coming here. All right, so we got to do a quick dark nut fight. He's oh, that's like a super dark nut. Okay. If we remember the rules. Wait for the parry. Okay, cool. That's not giving me the command for it, which is great. Anytime game, that'd be sweet. I set you on fire. Oop. I don't want to dip into that or else I'll miss the prize. Oh, you can set him on fire. Okay. Okay, that would have been cool if I would have actually just gone for it. There we go. Armor is off. He's a naked boy. He's a naked boy. I'm going to smack your buns. Still don't know if we can... What's a little move you're doing, huh? I was trying to get a sword. I was like, what are you doing? Okay. I'm not very good at quick time events, as you can tell. Today. Come on, buddy. You're delaying the episode. Nope. Anytime now. Alright, now we can get the... Oh, that's the Knight Crest. I think that's actually good, because we did need that, so... All right, and I think I do see, oh, I thought that was the last one. There's a, another mob in here, which is annoying. I wanted that to be climactic with it being the dark nut, but it wasn't. Another skull necklace though. Moblins, of course, are easy peasy lemon squeezy now that we are OP. Heck yeah. Probably a lot more that we could be getting in terms of goodies, but like I said, I don't want to overload. We already have a big enough load as we're dealing with things in the present. We're just going to collect this stuff for now, and then, uh... I was surprised to let me have that. Grab these little baby goodies. And get the heck out of here! Woo! Yeah, boy! Uh-huh. Okay, so now the game is making very spooky music. I don't like that. But, you know, we're doing fine. I want to real quickly... Check out what that, the one chest. Whoa. We did thaw, as my parents incorrectly say, unthaw. Hooray for brutalizing English. Oh, it, it refroze. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I'll never let go. All right. I think I make that joke every time. Let's see what this is. Probably nothing special. But we're going to find... Well, it's something special enough that you get this cutscene. Okay. Well. A treasure chart. I mean, that is pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, make sure you get that. I don't know if there's a treasure chart on the Fire Island. Um, If there isn't, that's going to make me look real dumb. But that's okay. So... Now that we are successful, we will um, 
going to be doing one more quick little thing next time. And then we're going to get some plot going on with maybe another dungeon? How's that sound? All right. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, Thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. If you enjoyed this episode, if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more after you check out the YouTube shorts. Bye.